What if you could truly let go of everything that defines you, your name, your history, your identity, and all the labels and roles you've accumulated over the years? What if you could set aside your responsibilities, daily routines, and schedules, and step away from the roles you play in your relationships, your career, and society? What if you could learn to forget about your problems, your limitations, and even the things you cherish most, your accomplishments, your beliefs, your social status, and everything you've come to believe makes you who you are. Imagine what it would be like to go beyond the familiar patterns of thinking, feeling, and being that you've repeated for so long. Imagine stepping into a space where none of those things matter anymore. In that space, you would not be bound by the constraints of your culture, your upbringing, or the circumstances of your life. You would be free from the stories you've told yourself about who you are and who you should be. The person you've always known yourself to be would begin to dissolve and you would step into the unknown, into a realm where there are no limitations, only pure possibility. To reach this state, you must be willing to work for it. You must be prepared to labor, to let go of what's familiar, even if it's uncomfortable. It's not enough to understand this concept with your mind. You have to feel it in your body and live it in your actions. You have to push yourself beyond the boundaries of your comfort zone, beyond the safety of the known, and into the expansive field of the unknown. It is here in the space of uncertainty and limitless potential where the true magic of life unfolds. The idea of getting beyond yourself sounds simple, and many people nod their heads as if they get it. They may intellectually agree that they need to step outside of their current identity, but understanding this idea in theory is not the same as embodying it in practice. I've seen it countless times in my work, and I've analyzed over 8,000 brain scans that confirm it. The moments when people truly experience transformation when they're at their most creative, inspired, and open-hearted, are the moments when they have completely forgotten about themselves. In these moments, they are no longer aware of their body, their problems, or their identity. They are not thinking about their past or worrying about their future. They have entered a state of being where the only thing that exists is the present moment. This state is what I call the generous present moment, and it is your access point to infinite possibility. In the generous present moment, you are not limited by the person you've been or by the circumstances of your life. You are not weighed down by the thoughts, emotions, and beliefs that have kept you tethered to the past. In this state, you are not a man or a woman. You are not young or a woman. You are not young or old. You are not successful or struggling. You are pure awareness, consciousness in its most expansive form. The generous present moment is doorway to the unified field, that vast realm of infinite potential that lies beyond the limitations of your five senses and your personal reality. But to access this realm, you must learn to relinquish your attachment to who you think you are. You have to be willing to let go of the familiar mental and emotional habits that define your sense of self, you have to stop identifying with the thoughts that constantly replay in your mind and the emotions that have become so familiar that you can't imagine life without them. This is not an easy task. In fact, it can be one of the most challenging things you will ever do. It requires you to confront the parts of yourself that are deeply conditioned by your past experiences and to let go of the need to control, predict, or hold on to anything. Most of us are so used to living in a state of separation from ourselves, from others, and from the world around us that it feels normal. We think of ourselves as a body living in a material world, and we are constantly trying to manipulate and control our external environment to make ourselves feel better. We believe that if we can just get the right job, find the right partner, or achieve a certain level of success, then we will finally feel whole and complete. But this kind of thinking keeps us trapped in a cycle of seeking fulfillment outside of ourselves 
in the realm of the known, it keeps us confined to a limited reality where we are always trying to change matter with matter. The only way to break free from this cycle is to get beyond yourself. When you step into the unknown, you are no longer trying to change your external circumstances to feel better inside. Instead, you are changing your internal state to create a new external reality. You are no longer thinking about who you are or what you need to do. You are simply being, you are no longer focused on your problems, your limitations, or your past experiences. You are present to the possibility of something greater. You are not concerned with how things will happen or when they will unfold. You trust that the universe will organize itself around your new state of being. To get to this point, you have to train yourself to stay in the present moment, to let go of the constant chatter of your mind and the habitual emotions that pull you back into the familiar. You have to practice surrendering to the flow of life, allowing yourself to be guided by a higher intelligence that is beyond your conscious mind. This process is not about giving up or resigning yourself to fate. It's about letting go of your attachment to the outcome and trusting in the power of the unknown. It's about opening yourself up to a realm of infinite potential where anything is possible and where you can create a new reality that is not limited by your past. In the generous present moment, you are no longer bound by the linear concept of time. You are not living in the past, replaying old memories and regrets, nor are you projecting yourself into the future, worrying about what might happen. You are here now, fully engaged in the present. And in this state, you can access the unified field where time and space collapse into a single point of awareness. This is the realm of the quantum, where the laws of matter no longer apply and where you can tap into the boundless energy and intelligence that animates all of creation. So what if you could learn to get beyond yourself? What if you could step into this field of infinite possibility and create a life that is not constrained by the limitations of your past or the expectations of others? What if you could realize that you are not defined by your name, your history, or your circumstances, but by the limitless potential that exists within you? When you learn to surrender to the present moment, to let go of who you think you are, you open the door to the extraordinary, you invite the magic of the unknown into your life, and you step into a realm where anything is possible. This journey is not for the faint of heart. It requires courage, commitment, and a willingness to let go of the familiar. But the rewards are beyond measure. When you get beyond yourself, you debt beyond yourself. You don't just change your life. You transform your very being. You become a creator of reality, a master of your destiny, and a living expression of the infinite intelligence that permeates the universe. And that is where the true magic lies. It is in the unknown, in the realm of limitless potential, where you can finally become the person you were always meant to be. If you consider that you think between 60 and 70,000 thoughts each day, and 90 of those thoughts are the same as the day before, then you are essentially repeating the same mental patterns over and over again. When you understand that your thoughts create your reality, you must also realize that if you continue to think in the same way, nothing in your life will change. The same habitual thoughts will lead you to make the same choices, and those choices will drive the same behaviors. The behaviors you repeat will create the same experiences, and those experiences will trigger the same emotions. And here's where it becomes a self-perpetuating cycle. The emotions you feel will then fuel the same thoughts, locking you into a never-ending loop of sameness. Your biology, including your brain's neural circuitry, your body's neurochemistry, and even your hormonal levels, is shaped by the thoughts you Creating think. a new the personal reality make, requires the changing you your take personality. And the emotions you feel. This means how you, you need to think, become act, conscious and feel of forms your unconscious state of being. 
those which automatic a pattern of behavior repetitive thoughts time. that keep your running habits, through your mind each day without you and automatic emotional it. responses you need to start mold your personality observing yourself and your personality and patterns of behavior the very way you habitually you fallen think, into act and feel the emotional reactions you seem to repeat it is no exaggeration and the to attitudes and reality you keep experience you right now past. is a direct it's about becoming of the personality you've maintained over time how your mind and body you want to change your life you live follows that you need to change your mind Quite literally. It's also about questioning whether the emotions you continually experience, whether it's stress, resentment, fear, or guilt, truly belong in your future. Because if you keep feeling the same emotions day in and day out, you keep reliving the past, not creating the future. Many people try to create change in their lives, but they do so while still being the same person they've always been. They use the same mindset, the same habits, and the same emotional reactions to try to change their circumstances without realizing that they're carrying their old self into their new intentions. In reality, you can't create a new personal reality with the same personality that's been shaping your current life. You need to become someone else. This doesn't mean pretending to be someone you're not. It means letting go of the version of yourself that no longer serves your highest potential and stepping into a new identity that aligns with the life you want to create. Imagine your brain is like a record player and your thoughts are the grooves in the record. If you keep thinking the same thoughts, you keep playing the same songs, the grooves get deeper and it becomes harder to break out of the pattern. This is not just a metaphor. It's backed by neuroscience. The more you think a certain thought, the stronger the neural connections in your brain become. Your brain becomes hardwired to keep thinking in the same way. Similarly, the emotions you feel repeatedly also shape your body's chemistry. Your cells become accustomed to the chemical cocktail produced by those emotions, and your body becomes addicted to it, even if the emotions are unpleasant. This is why change feels uncomfortable because your brain and body are so used to the old ways of being that stepping into the unknown feels like a threat. The good news is that if you can recognize the pattern, you can change it. But it requires becoming aware of your automatic thoughts, behaviors, and feelings, and then consciously deciding to interrupt the pattern. This means catching yourself when you start to think those familiar thoughts that lead to familiar choices. It means becoming aware of the moment you start to fall back into the same behaviors that have kept you stuck. It also means noticing when you're starting to feel emotions that are tied to past experiences and deciding in that very moment not to let those emotions control your thinking. This is how you begin to change, by not reacting in the same old way, by breaking the cycle of being the same person day after day. It's not enough to wish for a different life. You must be willing to change the fundamental aspects of your personality that are creating your current reality. If you continue to make the same choices, you will continue to experience the same life. If you wake up every day and think the same thoughts, act in the same ways, and feel the same emotions, nothing in your world will change. You must begin to think greater than your current circumstances and act greater than the familiar emotions that have defined you. You must become conscious of the old self and consciously choose to create a new self. This doesn't mean it will be easy. Your body will resist the change because it's been conditioned to the old way of being. It will fight to stay in its comfort zone because that's where it feels safe, even if it's not where you want to be. But every time you catch yourself falling back into the old pattern and make a different choice, you are reprogramming your brain. You are rewiring your neural circuits to fire in new ways. You are changing your body's chemical makeup by producing different emotions. And when you do this consistently over time, you will notice that you start to feel and act differently. This is the process of becoming someone new, of creating a new personality that aligns with the life you desire. Ultimately, the change you seek starts with you. It starts with choosing to think differently, to act differently, and to feel differently, and to feel differently. 
When you commit to this process, you step into the unknown, the realm of possibility where your future is no longer a projection of your past. You become the creator of your life rather than a victim of your circumstances. You start to write a new story, and as you do, you begin to live a new reality. Your personal transformation is not just about changing your external circumstances. It's about changing the internal state that created those circumstances in the first place. And when you change who you are, you change the world around you. If you keep thinking the same thoughts every day, making the same choices, behaving in the same manner and feeling the same emotions, you will continue to create the same life you've always known. This repetitive cycle locks you into a predictable pattern, one that mirrors your current identity and reinforces your sense of self. The neural networks in your brain become wired to fire together in the same ways, generating the same ways, generating the same habitual emotional responses over and over. This conditioning of the brain and body creates a kind of mental and emotional autopilot, anchoring you to your past experiences when you continuously engage in the same thought patterns and emotional responses, you condition your body into living in the past rather than in the present or future. By the time most people reach the age of 35, approximately 95s of who they are is shaped by a set of memorized behaviors, unconscious habits, emotional reactions, ingrained beliefs, and perceptions these functions run automatically, like a computer program, without the need for conscious awareness. At this point, they are essentially living on autopilot, with most of their thoughts and actions driven by subconscious programming that operates beneath their conscious awareness. When these individuals attempt to create meaningful change in their lives, they typically rely on the five of their conscious mind to override the 95s that is governed by the subconscious, this is where the struggle occurs because the subconscious mind, which has been conditioned through years of repeated thought and behavior patterns, is incredibly powerful. The body, which has become the mind, is already programmed into a predictable future that mirrors the past. It has memorized emotional reactions to familiar experiences and has developed deeply ingrained neural pathways associated with specific thought patterns and feelings. When someone decides to change, they often do so by making a conscious effort to think differently, act differently, or feel differently, or feel differently. But if they are still using the same mindset, they are essentially trying to overcome deeply ingrained habits with sheer willpower alone. The conscious mind representing only a small fraction of one's total cognitive capacity, struggles to compete against the overwhelming power of the subconscious programming, which has become automatic and habitual over decades. To illustrate this, think about a person who wants to become more positive. They might start their day with affirmations and attempt to think optimistic thoughts. However, if they have spent years allowing negative self-talk to dominate their mental landscape, their body is already conditioned to respond to stress, anxiety, or self-doubt. Their brain is wired to anticipate familiar problems and react with familiar problems and react with familiar emotional responses. Despite their best conscious efforts, as soon as they encounter a challenging situation, the old programming kicks in and they revert back to the same thought patterns and emotional responses they have always known. This happens because the body, as the subconscious mind, does not know the difference between a real experience in the external world and an emotional memory created by thought alone. It believes it is living in the same stressful experience from the past, even if that situation no longer exists in the present. Over time, this process hardwires the brain into a fixed pattern. Neural pathways become like ruts in a well-worn road, making it difficult to steer the mind in a new direction. The more you repeat the same thoughts, the more you reinforce the same neural circuits, making it increasingly challenging to think outside of the box you have constructed for yourself. 
Similarly, the body becomes conditioned to respond in familiar emotional states, reinforcing the same chemical cocktail of stress hormones, neurotransmitters, and peptides that keep you anchored in the past. In essence, the longer you stay stuck in these patterns, the more your mind and body become accustomed to them, and the more your life continues to reflect the same reality. This is why true change requires more than just positive thinking or conscious effort. It demands a complete transformation of the subconscious programming that dictates how you think, feel, and behave. You must begin by becoming aware of the automatic thoughts that arise in response to familiar triggers, noticing the unconscious habits and behaviors that have become second nature, and identifying the emotional states that keep you anchored to the past. When you become conscious of your unconscious patterns, you can start to intervene and make different choices. Breaking free from this deeply embedded programming is like reprogramming a computer. You must rewrite the mental and emotional code. This means creating new neural networks in the brain, which can only occur when you begin to think differently. As you consciously choose new thoughts, the brain starts to fire in new ways and new pathways are formed. Similarly, when you decide to act differently and respond to life from a place of possibility rather than limitation, the brain's neural architecture begins to change. Over time, as you continue to make new choices and practice new behaviors, the brain rewires itself to reflect these new patterns, leading to a shift in your state of being. In addition to changing your thoughts and behaviors, it is also essential to change your emotional state. If emotions are a record of past experiences, then feeling the same emotions every day keeps you trapped in the past. By consciously evoking elevated emotions like gratitude, joy, love, or inspiration, you can begin to recondition the body to a new mind. When the body starts to experience different emotional states, it signals the brain to create new neural pathways that align with those feelings. This process allows you to break free from the biochemical addictions to stress, fear, or other familiar emotions that have kept you stuck in a limited reality. Ultimately, the goal is to go beyond the fives of the conscious mind and tap into the power of the subconscious. This requires a commitment to consistent practice, whether it's through meditation, mindfulness, or other techniques that help you observe and change your habitual patterns. When you Invest time and energy into rewiring your brain and reconditioning your body to a new mind. You open the door to creating a new future. One that is not bound by the predictable patterns of your past. You begin to realize that you are not a victim of your circumstances, but a creator of your reality. As you continue to break free from old programming, your personal reality begins to change in ways that reflect the new personality you are cultivating. Change is not always easy, but it is possible when you are willing to step beyond the familiar and embrace the unknown. The body may resist and the mind may want to revert to old habits, but with persistence and practice, you can overcome these obstacles and transform your life from the inside out. When you understand that your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors are the building blocks of your reality, you gain the power to shape your life in any direction you choose. By changing your mind, you change your world, and that in itself is the ultimate act of creation. The greatest challenge of change is stepping into the unknown. This unknown represents a space that the mind and body have not yet explored, a place where familiar habits, behaviors, and emotional reactions no longer hold sway. It's the point where if you truly want to evolve and grow, you must confront the discomfort that arises when you leave behind the well-worn patterns of your past. The moment you make a conscious decision to break a habit, whether it's choosing not to react with anger, refusing to engage in self-pity, or deciding not to see yourself as a victim. You are stepping into uncharted territory. This step into the unknown is what I call crossing the river of 
change, and it's a process that requires both courage and persistence. As soon as you decide to stop making the same choices that you've always made, the body, conditioned by years of repetitive thought patterns and emotional responses, begins to feel uneasy. This is because the body, which has been trained to act as the subconscious mind, is used to a predictable routine. It's accustomed to waking up and reacting to life in the same ways, day after day. When you break this cycle, the body, which has become dependent on the familiar emotional states and predictable patterns, will naturally resist the change. This resistance manifests as discomfort, unease, and even anxiety because the body interprets the unfamiliar as a threat to its safety. You might experience thoughts that try to lure you back to the familiar, such as doubts about whether you can actually change or rationalizations about why you don't need to. You might even encounter physical sensations like restlessness or fatigue as your body tries to pull you back to its baseline state. But this resistance is actually a sign that you are on the right path, indicates that you are stepping out of your old self and moving toward the new self. The key is to recognize that this discomfort is not a signal to retreat, but rather an opportunity to grow. The river of change is where you must navigate from the old self to the new self. It is the transitional space where you are no longer entirely defined by your past habits, but you have not yet fully embodied the new ways of being that you aspire to. In this space, it can feel as if you are caught between two worlds, the familiar world of your old self with all its known limitations and conditioned responses, and the new, unfamiliar world of possibility that awaits on the other side. The journey across the river is not linear, nor is it always smooth. There will be moments when you feel like you are being swept back by the current, drawn to return to your old ways of thinking and reacting. But each time you resist that pull and keep moving forward, you strengthen your ability to change. Crossing the river of change involves a shift from being a reactive participant in your life to becoming a conscious observer of your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. When you stop reacting to the external environment in your habitual ways, whether it's snapping at someone in frustration, indulging in negative self-talk, or sinking into feelings of helplessness, you begin to see your patterns for what they are, automatic responses that have been conditioned over time. As you start observing these patterns, you become aware that you are not the program. You are the consciousness observing the program. This is a significant step because it means you are no longer living on autopilot. You are becoming aware of your own conditioning and that awareness is the first step toward dismantling it. As you pull yourself out of the conditioned state that has been governing your life, you are no longer defined by your past experiences. The familiar triggers that used to elicit predictable emotional responses begin to lose their grip on you. You start to realize that just because something has always been a certain way doesn't mean it has to continue that way. This recognition opens up a space where you can consciously choose new responses, new emotions, and ultimately a new identity. The more you practice observing your thoughts and behaviors without judgment, the more you gain the ability to change them. It's important to understand that crossing the river of change is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process. Each time you choose to act in a way that is different from your old patterns, you are making progress, even if it feels small. Each time you catch yourself before slipping back into a familiar reaction, you are weakening the neural pathways that have kept you locked in old habits. Over time, these small shifts accumulate, leading to significant changes in your thoughts, behaviors, and emotional state. As you continue to move forward, the river of change becomes less daunting, and the new self becomes more familiar. The more you practice, the easier it becomes to navigate this process, and the more natural it feels to embrace the unknown. The beauty of crossing the river of change is that it allows you to discover aspects of yourself that you may never have realized existed. When you let go of the old self, you create the space for new possibilities to emerge. You open the door to a version of yourself that is not defined by past experiences, 
limitations, or labels. You begin to tap into your true potential, accessing parts of your mind and body that were previously dormant. The discomfort you feel during this process is a sign that you are shedding layers of the old self, making room for a new way of being. As you continue to work through this transformation, you start to realize that you are not a victim of your circumstances, but a creator of your reality. You have the power to choose how you respond to life, and in doing so, you shape your future. This shift in perspective is empowering because it puts you in the driver's seat of your own life. Instead of reacting to life passively, you begin to actively design your destiny. You start to see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles to be avoided. The river of change may be turbulent at times, but it is also a place of profound transformation. It is where you discover what you are truly capable of beyond the limitations of your old self. The more you practice stepping into the unknown, the more comfortable you become with uncertainty. Eventually, the fear of the unknown fades, and you start to see it as a space of limitless potential. You begin to trust that on the other side of discomfort lies freedom, growth, and the realization of your true potential. So the question is, are you willing to cross the river of change? Are you ready to leave behind the familiar shores of your old self and venture into the unknown waters of possibility. The journey may not be easy, but it is worth it. Every step you take across that river brings you closer to the life you truly desire, a life not limited by the past, but defined by the future you choose to create. Remember, the river of change is not a barrier. It is a pathway to a new way of being. It is an invitation to transform, to evolve, and to become the person you were always meant to be. When you start to make new choices and adopt new behaviors, your body will resist. It has been conditioned by years of repetitive thoughts, emotional reactions, and actions to stay within the boundaries of the familiar. The body, acting as the subconscious mind, has become accustomed to the chemical states associated with your old identity. It's like a biological computer that runs on the programs you've installed over time, Programs based on the emotions you've experienced and the behaviors you've repeated. So when you try to change those programs, the body will naturally push back. It will do everything it can to maintain the status quo. The body will send signals to the brain, tempting you with thoughts and reasons why you should give up. It will conjure up doubts, fears, and rationalizations that all seem perfectly logical in the moment. It will whisper thoughts like, this is too hard. What if this doesn't work? or I've tried this before, and nothing changed. It may even bring up memories from your past, replaying old stories of failure, rejection, or disappointment. By doing this, it tries to convince you that there's no point in continuing to make the effort, that it's safer and more comfortable to revert back to your familiar ways. The body may also try to create physical sensations to lure you back to the known. You might feel restless, anxious, tired, or uncomfortable. Your muscles might ache, or you could experience a sudden urge to get up and distract yourself with a task, a snack, or your phone. These sensations and impulses are your body's way of attempting to regain control and pull you back into its familiar chemical state. It wants to keep producing the same emotions that it has become addicted to over time, whether they are emotions of stress, frustration, guilt, or sadness. This resistance is a sign that you are moving away from your old self and into new territory. It is evidence that you are stepping out of your comfort zone and challenging the body's programming. The body will try to convince you that you should stop and that it is safer to stay in the familiar, even if that familiar space is filled with limiting beliefs, self-doubt, and suffering. But this is precisely where the real work begins. When you face the resistance head on aware of what is happening and choose not to be swayed by it, in moments of meditation or any time you are consciously trying to change your thoughts and behaviors, you will begin to notice this resistance. Your mind might wander to all the things you have to do later in the day. 
you might find yourself thinking about the argument you had last week or worrying about a meeting that is coming up. You may even start to feel restless and have the urge to get up. This is the body fighting to stay in its familiar chemical state. It is resisting the discomfort of the new and trying to pull you back into the familiar emotions that it knows so well. The challenge here is to remain aware of your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors during these moments. Notice when your mind starts to drift or when you feel that urge to get up, acknowledge the resistance without judgment and recognize it for what it is. A signal that you are breaking away from the old self. This awareness is crucial because it allows you to consciously choose a different response. Instead of giving in to the distractions and excuses, you have the opportunity to bring your focus back to the present moment. Each time you choose to override your body's resistance and stay present, you start to recondition your body to a new mind. You are training your body to respond differently to adapt to the new emotional states you want to cultivate rather than the old emotions it has become used to. This is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process that requires patience and persistence. Each time you catch yourself falling back into an old pattern and bring yourself back to the present moment, you are weakening the hold that the past has on you. You are sending a message to your body that it is no longer in charge. You are When you continuously bring yourself back to the present and refuse to be swayed by your body's desire to return to the familiar, you start to dismantle the old programming. You begin to change the neural pathways in your brain and alter the chemical responses in your body. Over time, the old thoughts and emotional patterns lose their power and the body becomes more accustomed to the new state of being that you are cultivating. You start to embody a new personality one that is not defined by the habits and behaviors of your past, but by the possibilities of your future. The more you practice this, the more natural it becomes. At first, the body's resistance may seem overwhelming, but each time you choose to remain present and not give in, you are building the strength of your willpower and deepening your commitment to change. You are teaching your body that it no longer needs to rely on the familiar emotions of the past for a sense of identity. Instead, it can embrace the new emotions you are intentionally creating, emotions like joy, gratitude, and freedom. This process of reconditioning is how you start to bridge the gap between who you have been and who you want to become. It is how you cross the river of change, moving from the old self to the new self. It is not just about thinking differently, but about feeling differently behaving differently, and ultimately being different. As you continue to override your body's habitual responses and align yourself with a new vision of your life, you begin to create a new reality. It's important to remember that this transformation doesn't happen overnight. There will be times when the resistance feels strong and you may feel tempted to fall back into the old ways, but each time you choose to stay present, you are taking a step closer to the life you truly desire. You are moving beyond the limitations of your past and stepping into a future filled with unlimited possibilities. So the next time you find yourself confronted with resistance, whether it's a negative thought, a restless feeling, or an urge to quit, take a deep breath and remind yourself of the process you are in. Remember that the resistance is not a sign of failure. It is a sign of progress. It is proof that you are challenging the old self and making room for the new. Let that awareness give you the strength to stay in the present moment and continue moving forward, one conscious choice at a time. With each step, you are teaching your body to trust the unknown, to embrace the unfamiliar, and to find comfort in the present moment. And as you do, you will start to see the changes manifest in your life. The old patterns will fade, the new possibilities will emerge, and you will realize that you have indeed become someone else, someone free from the limitations of the past and empowered to create a future of your own design.